right, folks, really excited today. We've picked up ourselves a Granberg Alaskan Sawmill. If you've been watching my channel, you know we've been milling quite a bit of cherry wood from the tree back here with this thing. Little home job, works really good. But what it does is it has some problems. So we're gonna hook this up and show you how to do it and uh, see how it works. Let's get started. Alright guys, check it out. For chainsaws of 20 inches or less, ours is 18 inches, so it's going to be perfect. And it does a cool thing. It doesn't have a connection on the bar out on the tip, so it lets us access the last three inches of our bar. That's what we need. And we can come in from both sides, so you really can almost double the length of the bar reaching in, right, into a, a bigger log with these small things. We're trying to slab some pieces of, of uh, cherry wood that are too big. All right, so let's unbox this. It's actually much heavier than I expected. It's a good sign of quality. Okay. I also want to show you the back. Maybe while we're at it here, you can freeze this screen if you want to see any of that. If you want to see any of that, hit pause. There you go. All right. Comes with the plexiglass. Directions. Ooh, that's good. Okay. Ooh, this is all in a nice packaging. Saran wrapped together. Here we go, time lapse. Okay, we're back. Oh, Pearl got that uh, piece of cardboard. She loves to chew cardboard. Okay, we got these pieces. Now let's see how long it takes to put together. Here we go. Stop. The uh, bolt got stuck inside of here because this isn't a very good fit actually right inside here and it bind it up halfway turned. So it's actually still in there. I'm gonna have to try to pound that out. And wow. Well, it doesn't want to come out very easy. I'm going to have to deal with that later. Hopefully, we don't need that bolt for a little while. Uh, and, of course, 50-50 chance I got this backwards. On this side, I moved it to this side just to match the directions, how they did it. All right, so now we're ready to continue where I left off. And now we have socket set. So there we go. Continue the time-lapse thing. we're basically done. Got to take that apart now and try to hook it up into this. So let's see how long that took. Made a lot of mistakes. Okay my friends there it is. It took a little while longer than I expected but we hooked it up. A um, couple cool things about this. Now we're gonna gain about that much. What is that? Three inches past the old hole there you can see. 
And another cool thing I just realized is now the motor is up instead of down, sucking in the dust, probably not good for it. And therefore it won't hit the ground and hit other things that we have down there all the time. It became a problem. So now it's up. Although I lose my teeth that I had here to grab and walk it along, it would grab and, and leverage right into the wood, which is nice. But now you got a handle out here and you can push and pull. I was concerned how well this was gonna hook on. Boy, it, it bites right in really good to the bar. No problem there. So, a little bit of wobbly here, but I think that stays parallel. Yeah, the body moves, but the, the plexiglass surface here that's gonna slide on the log and the bar seem to stay parallel. So don't worry too much if this is hanging up and down and, and swinging. It's locked this U in, so it should make a nice even cut all the way down. I'm excited, let's give it a try. And of course, it's not done until you put the cool, original sawmill sticker on there. All right, let's test this machine. Looks pretty cool. Electric chainsaw. slab we just cut with the new jig. In conclusion, it does make it a smoother cut. I'm not getting the deep grooves I got on my cut, which just means it's going to be easier to plane through the planer with less cuts. We painted the ends there to keep it from cracking so bad, hopefully, as it dries. I think he wants to make a big, uh, make an electric guitar with this big piece, two inches thick. Beautiful, beautiful cherry wood. The sad thing is when we stopped, we tried to continue the last slab and, and smoke was coming out of here and it wasn't driving as fast. So we may have burned up the motor working this little thing too hard. Um, I hope not, it's really hot. Ooh. So we'll have to see if it starts again when it's cool. If not, take it apart, check the gears. Thanks for watching. That concludes our unboxing and testing of the Alaskan Small Log Mill by Granberg. I would definitely recommend it and give it a shot. I think you'll like it if you've got a small uh, chainsaw, even an electric one like we have. Works great. Have a great day. Yeah, but I got this thing stuck on here. It won't come off. Yeah. Uh, What's well, glass? Plexiglass. Okay. Uh, What's wrong with it? Push pause. Push